Entering Corvus Sector. Oi, ah. that'd be a fine tune. And now here's another in our run of lubber. Dang it, guy! You weren't supposed to to talk when you weren't ready to. T I I don't know. I am game guy. It's time for more space travel shenanigans. Let's play a Ratchet and Clank Kraken time. Uh, over here is Corvus Beta. We're gonna go to Corvus Beta and say hello to the Zoni that's hiding over here. Got one more space sector left. It's the Pink Zone. The Pink Zone is a place that exists. I got some Omni Soaker shenanigans going on here. Why is it so pink in here? That's just weird. It shouldn't be as pink as it is, but for some reason it is. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. I mean, because, yeah, I would expect light to enter this room, and since the light is kind of pinkish, I mean, that, that would be a thing. I mean, I get it, but I don't know. I, just, I feel like the lighting doesn't make a whole lot of sense in that particular scenario. We got water plants. How does this thing even grow here? I do not yeah. understand. Yeah. This apparently seems to be the Omni Soaker yeah. planet. Well, it's not really a planet, it's a planetoid, but there is not much of a difference, in fact. I mean, planetoids... <coughs> ah, 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 that thing is hot. I, we've never seen, like, one of those that's scorching hot before. That's weird. Oh no, those dudes. Here, Fred. Have some lunch. <laughs> Fred just wants to eat. That's all he wants to do. I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, wouldn't you just want to eat? I certainly enjoy eating things. And then barfing out bolts once I'm done. Good evening. I'm Kip yeah. Darling. And I'm Pepper Fairbax. Tinseltown is fuming this morning over the release of a Hola recording stolen from the set of My Blaster Runs Hot. The recording depicts action star and former superhero Copernicus Quark in a somewhat unfavorable light, prompting many enraged fans to boycott its release. Pepper, our station manager has just informed me that we've attained a copy of the meltdown. <gasps> but I must warn everyone, the recording is equal parts disturbing and shameful. Roll audio. I want you off the set right now. I, I, I'm sorry, Kim. No, don't be sorry. Yeah. Don't be sorry. That was completely unprofessional. You have no appreciation for how difficult it is to stand up here and pretend to be someone else. I do. I, I completely understand. You think this is easy? You think it's easy to stand up here and play make-believe? No, I, I don't. Because there's a script, Doug. A script with words, which I must read. It's like rocket science for the soul, Doug. I hear you, and... I understand. And, and, and look, I, I was just checking the verse a few. Oh, good. And how was it? Actually, it was fine. Completely my bad. That's it! Is this a real yeah. Can I shoot this guy? And there you have it. A spokesman for Vox Hollow Films added that the lighting director and Quark are now best of friends and go fishing once a week in Pokotaru. Hmm, I doubt that. We now return you to our regularly scheduled programming. Well, okay. <laughs> I, 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 whatever. Uh, we got oil, by the way. So now I can finally go up here. The camera is confusing me. Because uh, I, I started turning the thing one way... And then, like, the camera flipped around, and I was still turning it the one way, and it was yeah. working, and I'm just, I'm confused. Yeah. When left equals right, what do I even, yeah. what do I even do? I don't understand, man. I just don't. Fred's hungry. That's the only thing I understand in this world. That's the only thing I understand in this world. It's the only thing worth understanding. Let's be perfectly honest here. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to fight the rest of these on my own, because, uh, Fred is... Well, he's not dead. That does rhyme, but that isn't what he is. Chill out, dude. You need to, like, freak the heck out. Just stand there and go away, mostly. Take in the pink. Because it's the last thing you'll ever see. 
it, it's a very sad day, to be perfectly honest, but, you know. Not these guys with the stupid throwing bombs. I don't like them very much. Do they, like, not take damage if they're laying on the ground or something? Yeah, I, I don't I don't actually know. I think I do actually have to defeat all of them, though, because otherwise these platforms don't appear, because I saw something blink over here. I did, in fact, see something blink. Blinking was a thing that happened. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm hoping this is the way I need to go. Pressing all the wrong buttons in the world. For some reason, it just seemed like the thing to do, you know? Oh, I was supposed to jump, I guess. I didn't mean to fall in the lava, though. Well, that was equal parts embarrassing and unfortunate. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, I mean, I'm right here, so it's not like I have to go... Well, if I could ever get back up there. I didn't know which way the platform was. I don't have, like, a mini-map right now. You know, I... I don't know. I didn't know I was supposed to... J well, that time I wasn't supposed to jump at all. Oh, no, lava. Ostensibly, it hurts. Oh, I'm just, it just spawns me here. That's weird. Oh, I'm supposed to turn around? Man, this is a, a confusing state of affairs. Can I just say? It's a confusing state of affairs. Tesla spikes. Why not? That sounds like a fun deal. One over here for good measure. This way, there is nothing they can do except get zapped to death. Unfortunate for them. Where am I even going right now is my question. Do I actually have to make that jump? Gosh, this is a... This, this planetoid goes on and on. I don't think I made that jump. I didn't realize they were that much higher than the rest. Where am I? <laughs> Pop quiz, where am I? Uh, in the uh. lava. If that's where you guessed, then you were correct. Yeah, what was up with that one being significantly higher than the others? Yeah. That's what made that difficult, is that it was just so much higher. Uh, whatever, I guess. Man, I wish I had uh, the, the thing for this part. I, I was having trouble going to the Groove Bomb for some reason. Not really sure I understand why. But okay. Dance in slow mo, dude. Dance in slow mo. I like how my bombs are also in slow-mo. It's kind of a hilarious thing. Probably should take advantage of the fact that you guys are momentarily distracted and uh, pull off your shields. Granted, I didn't really need to, but I did it anyway. Hello, Zony. You were quite an ordeal to get to. <laughs> just, just slightly. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Now, I have now noticed there is a dot somewhere. Where is the dot? Dot, reveal to me your location. It's out in the middle of the lava, like, over this way. There's a platform out in the middle of nowhere here with a gold bolt on it. Okay. Well, I see where it is, but I haven't the foggiest how to get to it unless it's like shenanigans like oh man you gotta drop to it from the big spinning platforms because yeah there's like nothing there's nothing I guess what I gotta do is keep an eye out down below for where this platform might be it is in <laughs> fact somewhere I see it off in the distance kind of floating in nothingness even though I know it's resting on a platform, which only just now decided to draw. Yeah, no, I had to wait on this platform. I should have known that, to be fair. I guess. 
it's just, it's still kind of silly, I think. I think it's kind of silly. Anyway, that's how you get to, well, okay, see, when the camera does shenanigans like that, I don't know what to make of it. Alright, good, I landed here. <laughs> that was obnoxious. Thank you for existing, Gold Bolt. You added a lot to this planet. <laughs> like, literally, I haven't I spent... Isn't this the first planet I've done in this, this video? Well, it's a planetoid, but you know what I mean. I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure. In a world where greed and corruption rule the streets. Ahoy there, young scallywags! This be a hold-up! Nobody moves, and nobody gets hurt! Where lawlessness and chaos have seeped into every fiber of our society. My baby! Someone stole my baby! In a world where people steal babies, one man has the courage to stand up for what's right. I thought he was only a myth. You know, like the abominable bubble snaggle beast of Xanaphar. One man has the proper ratio of strength, fortitude, and loose canonism to take on the sinister forces of evil. The time has come for... Anybody call for a ridiculously attractive savior? Captain Quark. This week, Vox Hollow Films presents a story about a man with all the one-liners. Take him down, lads! The only town you'll be taking me to is downtown. Th that is, I'll be taking you, or something. Starring Captain Romulus Slag as evil mastermind Gabriel Von Cavendish. Sure, I be evil for no apparent reason. Rusty Pete as District Attorney Slate McSteel. Don't give me excuses! Give me results! And making his gripping return to film, Captain Copernicus Quark as Captain Copernicus Quark. Any of you villains order a nice tall glass of revenge? My blaster runs hot. Rated PG-13. Opening across the galaxy this Friday. Suddenly, all the robots appeared. All right, commercial, are you done yet? <laughs> also, can we talk about this for a second? Uh, Vox Industries? Uh, the guy's dead. Uh, how did this happen? Also, um, do I even have to explain the story of Deadlocked? <laughs> I don't think I should have to. Uh, these guys have a lot of health, by the way. Um, I was kind of expecting to be able to do that fairly quickly, but as it turns out, uh, I took an entire commercial to get through most of these enemies. But it's fine. It was at least humorous in its own way. I don't really get what's up with um, Captain Slag and Rusty Pete, though, because, like, in Quest for Booty, they kind of betrayed you flat out, and now all of a sudden they're good guys again? Question mark? I, I don't really get it. It's it's a weird thing. I mean, I like them as characters, you know, they're great, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Can we also talk about this for a moment? Just this this beautiful majesty that is boxes. Oops, I fixed them. By touching them, how dare I? Hey, look, the final robot. Nice of you to finally show up. <laughs> I almost got distracted by box physics again. Gunsmith, I got all the constructo mods, which means this is barrage. It's effectively the bouncer. <laughs> so yeah, I want that. Of course I want that. Why wouldn't I want that? Explain to me five reasons why I wouldn't want that. You probably can't. 
It's flat out impossible. Don't you agree with being able to get an Omega Watt game station require modification? Are your cleaner box still running an obsolete processing software? Then come on down for the grand reopening of Big Al's Robo Shack and Gaming Superstore, where the only limits are in your imagination. We've got the latest in sister board mods, gamma ports, bot tune-ups, plus the widest selection of holo games in the entire quadrant. Trouble with your Mr. Thurcon? Bring him in for a free consult with one of our experienced techs. Big Al's Robo Shack and Gaming Superstore. We won't be beat. Offer not valid outside the Salama Galaxy. Other restrictions may apply. See authorized dealer for details. I'm pretty sure we heard that commercial already, but I mean, I'm not gonna try talking over it, so <laughs> it's fine. There are boxes around. This is apparently just the hover boot course with swing shots involved. It's fine. Everything is fine in the world. Well, I mean, in this world, if you could even count this as a world. Oh man, I shortcut it a little bit. It's okay though, because I'm still alive. For now, ostensibly. Why are there swing shots in this formation? way above the atmosphere or lack of atmosphere of this planetoid. I do not understand who would even spend the time to put those there. Wow, that one, that one happened fast. Uh, Vanquish Lord Vorslan, what? <laughs> I got the last Zoni, by the way, in case you wanted to know. Where do I go from here? Do I just drop, oh, the ship is like right below me. Right below me. I landed on it. Hey, All right. this is Rusty Pete, Scourge of Polaris, Slayer of... of... uh... of full kegs of grog! <laughs> Ahoy, landlubbers! This is your old friend, Rusty Pete, and you know, I'm here to offer you the opportunity of a lifetime. All you can drink grog down at Belligerent Jacks? No. A lifetime supply of stay sharp skewering swords? No. A free night in slumbering Sally's house of questionable moral fiber? Well, that would be the opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> but I'm talking about Rusty Pete's school of piracy. Hey. Rusty Pete's school of piracy? For sure. <laughs> a place where misguided young gents and gentises can learn the fine trade of our great and noble profession. Uh, come here. Just, just read the card. Oh, right. <clears throat> that sounds fantastic, Pete. Tell me about the cur curriculum. Cur curriculum. Curriculum. I'm glad you asked, Captain. <laughs> At Rusty Pete's School of Piracy, you can major in any one of our pirate-approved disciplines. Grog brewing, pillaging, mast and bilge maintenance, revenge killing, and knot tying. Knot tying? I love ropes. I use them to hang people. <laughs> well, now you can hang them just like a professional. Just call our offices at Gamma 814 and tell them Rusty Pete sent you. Uh, I don't know how audible that was. And I'm sorry, but Rusty Pete's hosting a school for learning how to be a pirate. And Slag is very good at reading his lines. Very good, in fact. So good, you can't even tell that he's faking it. Because he's not faking it. <laughs> That's the joke! Anyway, um, there are dudes around that exist or something why are we getting all of these now and i'm pepper fairbanks Tonight's top story, new information on the disappearance of Lumbax rebel Angela Cross. I'm sorry, have we confirmed that Angela Cross is in fact a Lumbax? I know that was the assumption, but she doesn't have a tail. Female Lumbaxes don't have tails, Kip. <laughs> in fact, this just in, lots of females do not share the same anatomical traits as their male counterparts. Oh, I see. Well, hence the set of horns sprouting on that dome of yours, eh, hey, Pepper? Why don't we just finish the story? 
Well, very well then, Pepper. As many of our listeners yeah. know, Lombax rebel Angela Cross has been missing for almost three years. She was a victim of former dictator Percival Tachyon's vendetta against the Lombaxes and was last seen fleeing the Cerulean Sector in Max Apogee's starship. You are speaking, of course, of the famed Lombax historian and seeker of the legendary Lombax secret. Indeed I am, Pepper. Apogee himself vanished from Polaris and was believed to have been killed by space pirates. Well, galactic authorities now claim they have recovered Apogee's starship. The vessel was discovered on autopilot with its flight registry pinpointing planet Jacindu as its place of origin. Kirchu Ambassador Bugo could not be reached for comment. What do you think, Pepper? Did the Kirchu offer Max and Angela sanctuary from the depredations of Percival Tachyon? Did they use the so-called Lombax secret to escape to some other cosmic plane of existence? I don't know, Kip. Way to theorize, Pepper. When we come back, we'll chat with former gladiator and recently released prisoner Ace Hardlight. Is he truly rehabilitated? Or is it only a matter of time before he's discovered inside the Polaris Galactic Bank wearing a pair of stockings on his face? We'll find out right after this. So there you have it. Ace Hardlight still exists. That was the thing you needed to learn from that particular news announcement. Uh, okay, well, I've noticed that this area over here is green, which means there's probably a quest. Um, important, I guess. Again, I, I got ammo last. I don't know why I keep doing that, because it's kind of a waste. Lousy, inconsiderate, no good troopers. Ever since Forcelon started working out here, he's been sending his goons over on regular raids. When I would pay to see someone teach him a lesson. I could do that. You're a brave one, I'll give you that. Porcelain's ships have been patrolling a nearby nebula. You take out 50 of them, and I'll make you a rich Lombax. You say that as if there are other Lombaxes around that might become rich. I haven't seen Azimuth in forever. On the backwater planet of Felden, little Timmy O'Shea was just the new boy in school. Pa, none of the kids at school talk to me. They all think I'm weird. Don't you pay them no mind, son. They's just uneducated. But then, while expressing his rebellious angst via interpretive dance, Timmy stumbled upon an unlikely companion. Whoa, a war croc. <laughs> <laughs> and you're friendly. I'm gonna take you home, war croc. This Christmas, Vox Hollow Films presents a story of salvation. He's my friend, Pa. I won't abandon him, not ever. A story of friendship. <laughs> that no good war rock of yours is eating all them kids at school, Timmy. And I'm pretty sure he's got the rabies. <laughs> a story of sacrifice. <laughs> I love you, war rock. I always will. The heartwarming tale of a boy and his war grog. Coming to Vox this holiday season. No, seriously, why why is Vox a thing? Why does his media empire still exist? I don't understand. Did anybody even pay attention during Deadlocked? Apparently not. Yeah, I gotta destroy a bunch of these dudes, I guess. Which is what I'm doing. In case you couldn't figure out the things that were happening on the screen at this exact moment. I just figured I'd point it out. As long as I don't destroy the guy in the middle, these guys seem to, like, just spawn indefinitely. So, you know, it's fine. Man, we're getting all sorts of deadlocked references in this episode for some reason. I don't know how I feel about that. What? I don't know what I'm witnessing here. <laughs> that was incredible. Who'd have thought? One Lombax against 50 fighters? Uh, I'm gonna spread the word about you, outsider. Here's your reward. Uh, you're welcome? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, are you? Oh, you're not Snooky Bear 83. Please, whoever you are. 
I request assistance. My first date with the love of my life is on the other side of the sector, and my escort hasn't shown up. Will you escort me to my beloved's coordinates? I mean, I guess I could, but you seem to be either a wall or invisible. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but okay. I'll send the coordinates to your ship, and then you can be my wingman. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> because I'm on my way to a date, <laughs> you see? <laughs> I don't get it. Mr. Watch doesn't get it either. <laughs> it's 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 a so very difficult thing. where did you thing. meet this girl? Hollow Net. Me and Snooky Bear 83 play the same RLCM MORPG. What's that? It's a ridiculously life-consuming, massively multiplayer online role-playing game. She's in my guild. Oh. Warning. Warning. Hostile ships detected. Man, Ophelia, you interrupted the guy's heartwarming story about whatever. How could you? You're literally the worst. Why do these guys have to have shields? They are also literally the worst. Everything in the universe is literally the worst. It, especially the bratwurst. The bratwurst is actually the worst. Probably, and without question. I mean, uh, that's what probably means, obviously. It means, it means things that are, are not exactly uh, quantified as factual or whatever joke I am attempting to spew out Hello, right now. Mr. Lomax. I'm feeling a little exposed here. Are you escorting me or what? Uh, I can't escort you when there are ships around, dude. It's not like you have a health bar or anything, so shut up. Jeez. Jeez. Hurry up. This rock music is loud and I don't know how to deal with it. It's just a very difficult time in my life, all right? It's a very difficult time. Is your speed affected by my speed? Like, is that what's happening? I'm not really doing much of an escort because I'm following you. Usually it should be the other way around, but I mean, whatever. I guess this other yellow icon is related to this quest, so why not? Is that you, Warlock? <laughs> it's me, Snooky Bear. I can't believe you made it. Warlock would cross a river of fire to win your heart, Sugar Plum. My weapons are still armed. I can make it look like an accident. That's okay, Aphelion. Let's go. Oh, but I wanted to see more things blow up. Dang it, Ratchet. Always being the nice guy. How dare you? That's still green. It shouldn't be green. Why are you green? I don't understand. Can I talk to you still, or what? No. Oh, thrifty. Oh, that's collecting a bunch of bolts. I don't remember exactly how many, but that's what that is. And now it's blue arbitrarily. All right. <laughs> fine. Fine. Okay. Um. That said, uh, we have now completed all of the collecting. Except for one thing. Which I'm going to be a jerk and get next time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, next time we're going to do that. And we're going to go, I don't know, here and do, I don't know, something. Something or other, I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you later and goodbye.